Now, American companies are increasingly taking public stances on social and political issues. The latest such example is abortion. A recently leaked Supreme Court draft decision would overturn the Roe v. Wade ruling that legalized that procedure throughout the U.S. half a century ago. Some big companies have responded to the looming abortion crackdown by pledging support for employees, while others remain quiet. Microsoft joins a growing number of companies who are offering reimbursement for abortion-related travel expenses. The list includes Apple and Amazon. Apple first proposed such a benefit for employees after Texas passed sweeping anti-abortion legislation in 2021. It's a position that many will applaud, but one which has vocal opponents on the political right wing. A backlash has already started brewing, with one U.S. senator introducing legislation that would prevent companies from receiving tax breaks on expenses tied to covering abortion-related travel. The fight over abortion protections mirrors other thorny social justice battles from recent years, with companies taking clear public stances on activist movements such as Black Lives Matter. Disney's opposition to the so-called Don't Say Gay bill in Florida led to the governor there removing its special tax status. You're a corporation based in Burbank, California, and you're going to marshal your economic might to attack the parents of my state? Uh, we view that as a provocation, and we're going to fight back against that. Taking stances on hot-button issues used to be relegated to the political arena. For corporations, there's no winning move here. Whether they take a stand or stay silent, many will see any move as political. I'm joined now by Allison Stewart Allen, the Chief Executive Officer of the Consultancy International Marketing Partners. Allison, thanks so much for being with us. So tell me, what is the benefit to companies for offering this uh, payment for abortion? Well, um, many fold, frankly. They uh, staff morale. Uh, it communicates a message to employees that we support you uh, on such a controversial issue. Uh, and given the importance of female talent to these companies, uh, they want to keep them. Uh, so by demonstrating their support on uh, this issue, uh, they hopefully are inspiring women, uh, to not only stay in the company, but also attracting women who may want to work for the company too. Is there a risk that it backfires? Oh, there's every risk that it backfires, especially in certain states where that company operates, where uh, the view of uh, people in that state perhaps, uh, or even city, town, very local level, is very much anti-abortion support. So, uh, you know, by taking a stand, companies are certainly putting themselves uh, above the parapet, so to speak. Uh, and one might say that's a good thing for companies to take a stand. Uh, others might say it's a very risky thing to do and not worth it. My expectation is that the, these companies that are being very public on their position uh, on supporting women uh, to travel, uh, to have uh, that procedure, uh, is that they've done? The, they've run the numbers. They've assessed that the payoff, the benefit of being public on this uh, and supporting them, uh, women, uh, is going to uh, be much higher than the the downside or the risk. Yeah, obviously we've seen companies under a lot of pressure to speak out on political and social issues in the past couple of years. Do we have a sense that that actually is impacting the way employees choose their employers, where they stand on, on these political issues? Uh, it very much is shaping how employees view companies. Uh, and that's why increasingly we are now seeing corporate leaders being very public on a number of issues, not just, uh, you know, uh, abortion, but LGBTQ, uh, on freedom of speech. Uh, we're now seeing CEOs taking stands on a number of contentious topics where in the past this never would have happened. But we do know also that younger employees expect corporate leaders to have a point of view on these things. So if you are going to attract the millennials, the Gen Zs, uh, then the hope, the expectation really in that population is that, yes, you have a point of view and you're going to be very public about it. I mean, is this a trend that's sort of isolated to 
a handful of large U.S. companies based in, you know, liberal cities, or is this some? Thing that's impacting all employers uh, in the United States? Well, it's impacting not only employers in the United States, uh, it's impacting employers uh, here in Germany and around the world. Uh, you know, companies uh, are being expected by younger staff wherever they are to have very public positions on these sorts of topics, on the environment, so ESG, uh, environment, social governance, uh, that companies uh, have points of view. So it's not limited to the U.S. even, or even parts of the U.S. It's actually a global phenomenon. And the company brand uh, is being assessed by uh, such younger employees and even the, uh, the financial capital markets on these issues and increasingly. And consumers as well. And consumers <laughs> as well. Absolutely right. Alison Stewart-Allen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Studio.